Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Um, doing a nice unboxing today of uh, a game I actually won on Instagram from the wonderful board game Overlord, um, Arc Nova. Uh, I'm really happy to get this. I've heard it's amazing. Got a lot of friends who've played it who've said it's really good and we was really excited to try and get a copy for myself but um, since the wedding been on a bit of a buy-in um, cut, trying not to buy as many things, trying to pay off a few bills and stuff. So I was super happy to actually win this copy and really can't wait to see what's inside because it looks great. Um, if you've played this, please let me know what your best strategies are. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And any likes and comments, I'll try and get back as soon as I can. Let's get this one open up and see what's inside. As you can see, this is a really big box, so it's uh, quite hard to get on screen. Um, it's bigger than I expected to be, and it's very heavy. Um, the back kind of shows you roughly what the setup looks like a little bit, and some of the examples of the cards. But let's get it open and see what it's like. It's a very big box, I'm assuming there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, it is very weighty. I'm um, not really sure why. I haven't really watched any plays of this or anything, because I wanted to save it until I got my own copy. And I'm hoping that this will be a game that my wife really likes because she likes animals, uh, as do I. We particularly love elephants, so hopefully we'll be able to get some elephants in our zoos once we build this up. And straight away, there's a lot of stuff to see. There's a lot of pieces here. I um, don't know exactly what they are, but wooden pieces in blue, yellow, black and red, so there'll be player colours. Then you've got cubes and a couple of hexagonal things from the same colours, blue, yellow, black and red. So they'll be your player colours. There is a rather large bag of baggies here, which being a game about zoos and animals, you'd think there wouldn't be as many for uh, preservation, I guess, or eco stuff, but I'm sure it's needed for other things in here. And uh, you've got three rather large decks of cards. As you can see, they're quite thick and they're all the same size. So there's quite a lot of cards there um, and they show on them different animals um, and I'm sure I'll figure out what they all do later on when I get into the game and the backs are there obviously animals you can get I guess and then shield I don't know something maybe you got to protect them or something um, the rule box there on the top um, is a nice size it feels quite thick like this it goes to 19 pages of how to score, how to play. Looks like it's quite quite detailed, quite a lot going on. It seems quite difficult. We've got a glossary page, which uh, gives you just a bit of information, some kind of FAQs it looks like, and clarification on things, final scoring. Not sure why this couldn't be in the main rule book, but it's not. Um, and then you've got an icon overview sheet, which I'm guessing will be useful but there's only one of these so if you're playing with three or four you're gonna to have to share that around then why they haven't just printed another couple um, and then some cardboard where things go um, obviously here this would be for a three player this would be for a four player I guess and a four player there um, and then you've got the sheets which look like they're gonna be your maps for your zoos um, there is two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight of these. So I don't know how many game people this plays to, but it doesn't say on the box. Um, I'd be surprised if it played up to eight, but you never know. Here's quite a big game and a heavy box. Let's see if it says. Um, can't actually see. Eight player maps. Zoos, four map A, four map O. So I think it might be four player. Um, what I can see, there's only four player colours, so I'm assuming that's the case. And then different types of them. You can come out for now. And then there's plenty of punch board here, and two, three, four, five thick sheets of punch board with card tokens and things, and bits and bobs. Um, and then some another kind of board here. Um, but this fold out to be quite long, it looks. Uh, yeah, really long. It's got, as you can see, the start there. If I put it under the camera, it gets bigger and goes on and on and on. It's rather long and it's split into three sections. So each is about A4 piece of paper and then it's split into three and it's double sided. So there's two different sides to that. 
and then you've got these trays at the bottom for sorting out your pieces and your bits and bobs um, and your card and stuff can go in there I guess so I don't know why we've got the trays and the plastic bags not really sure I guess I'll figure it out as we go um, that's a lot of the stuff in there I'm going to open these cards up and have a little look and see if I can figure out what they do the cards seem to have quite a bit of things going on numbers and symbols and things these green cards seem to have more on them than the actual animal cards themselves um, have a little look they've got all these are oh they're different actually there's not loads of the green cards there's not many of them at all they look something like this species diversity and things and uh, different things like different uh, regions Americas Asia Africa um, then we've got time looks like a time symbol so maybe something to do with time stuff large animal zoo small animal zoo architectural zoo biodiverse zoo maybe these are scoring kind of things we can do them first i'll get points i assume uh these i don't know what these are they look interesting types of cards with some kind of stuff on them for different rules different things i have no idea what they're for but i'm sure i'll figure them out later and then these are your animal cards so you've got like a symbol in the top corner i don't really know some of the symbols different space things looks like where they can go so i'd have to get used to them and what they do these forest things and bamboo forest and predator freedom programs all look quite complex to start with quite a lot of information on them so hopefully it'll be not too difficult to learn it looks like there's quite a bit going on and then i think these are all just other animal cards i'm not 100 sure well, it looks like it yeah it looks like there's a like, color all the way through same color so same type of stuff there's a cheetah and a lion everyone loves a good lion leopard caracal phoenix fox Siberian tiger Sumatran and tiger sloth bear sun bear all sorts of really cool animals i'm looking forward to looking through all of these i'm not going to go through all of them now obviously there's loads of stuff monkeys and lizards and snakes even so you've got loads of things there and then even more animal cards here i think it looks like they're the same color all the way through as well so i'm assuming there's different ways to split them into different types maybe or maybe you just have a big massive deck of cards yeah we've got all sorts here as well like lizards snakes again the birds all sorts of birds here uh horse goat rabbits a spokesperson a veterinarian science museum these different things you can have in your park i guess to help you do stuff maybe uh, like a primatologist and a herpetologist ornithologist and some other people so they all seem to play different types of roles a lot of them share the same symbols in the top left brown hexagon and uh kind of square symbol here and then what type of thing it is it's a lizard and then some kind of world map thing there as well so quite a bit going on quite a lot of pieces here uh, if you've got any good rules videos or anywhere to link me to to learn how to play the rules please do um, that's the basic contents of what's in the box if you want to see any more please uh, hit, up, hit me up in the comments and ask for some questions and I'll get back to you I can't wait to get this one played and see how it goes uh, see you on the next video guys